This is calculator question number 17 from the January 2017 SAT exam. It's also practice test 8 from the 2018 version of the College Board prep book. College Board gives us a table for ages of students enrolled in a class where the first column is the age and the second column is the frequency, how many students of each age. There's a total of 20 students, 6 are 18 years old, 5 are 19, 4 are 20, 2 are 21, and there's one each, 22, 23, and 30 years old. And the question is, which is the correct order of the mean, median, and mode? And we know the mode is the number that appears the most often, and the mode for these ages is 18. Since that's the lowest number that appears, we know the mode has to be the smallest of the three, choices C and D are wrong. At this point, the easy way is to either count off to find the median, but then you still have to find the mean, or go to stat, edit, and put this column in L1 for age, and the second column frequency in L2, and you can do one variable statistics on all but the oldest TI-83s and oldest TI-84s by using lists 1 and 2. Check your calculator and see if that works. So I put 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 30 in list 1, and 6, 5, 4, 2, 1, 1, 1 in list 2. And then I go to stat, calculate, and hit enter for one variable statistics. List defaults to list 1, L1. If you don't have that there, second one gives you L1. Frequency list, if that appears, Second two gives you list two, which is where I put the frequency. Scroll down to calculate and hit enter. And I get x bar, which is the mean. You should know that sim symbol is 20. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I have minimum Q1 for the first quartile, median Q3 for the third quartile, and maximum. And the median is 19. So the mode is the smallest, the median is middle, and the mean is the largest, so it's choice A. Alternatively, I could look at the shape of this distribution, and since the distribution is skewed right or skewed high, because we have an outlier, the 30-year-old is much older than the other people in the class, that outlier will pull the mean higher than the median, we know from general principles. But it's so fast to figure the values, you might as well just, just figure them rather than using general principles to estimate the mean. Although you will, in other questions, need to know that if you have high outliers, the mean will be above the median. So make sure you take a note of that. And College Board often, in fact, always asks you questions about the mean or median, and occasionally mode is included. So come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.